How's it going guys? My name is TJP and welcome back to another Emily the Show 23 Franchise Rebuilding Challenge. So we have our next NL team and our first team in terms of making the postseason, right? So if I look at the standings from last season, I have the bracket up as well. Um, essentially, what we're going to be doing with this is we're going to be basing it off of, okay, here's where you finished in the standings in the postseason as well. So if you finished with the four seed and got eliminated in the wild card round like the Mets did, well then, then we're gonna be doing them just like that. We're gonna be going back and forth between the leagues. So yeah, the Mets will be our first team of the postseason. Uh, them and then the Cardinals, both teams that got eliminated in the wild card round. We'll start with the Mets because they have the four seed. So that's how we're gonna be doing it. Leave a like, subscribe if you're going the content, comment out for videos, go to social play a second channel, main channel, down in the description, we've got the content of TJP. Also down in the description are the rules for how I've been doing these rebuilds. So if you're in case you guys are confused or don't know, uh, read the rules down below in the description. With that being said, let's get on to the gameplay. All right, so the Mets obviously have a, have some talent. They were very busy in the uh, off season. So we take a look at their lineups, the pitch rotation. Uh, they've got some interesting guys. Um, yeah, Luis Guillorme, he's a cheat code in this game. Even though his overall says otherwise, we've seen him put up some big numbers. Uh, Brett Bay, I've seen him do really good things. He ends up being a really good player. So there's some, definitely some talent on this team. Uh, Mark Hanna, um, we'll see if we want to move him. Not quite sure yet, uh, but we'll see. Bench is okay. So eh, it's not bad. There's definitely some talent on this squad, obviously. Uh, of course, the pitch rotation with Justin Verlander and Max Scherzer. Also, Mr. Kodai Senga, how you doing, buddy? Welcome to the team. We got Peterson, Jose Katana as well. The bullpen, there's definitely some good players in here. Uh, of course, Adam Odovino is really old, but you know, he might be able to do his, still do his thing. Uh, of course, we do not have the one they call Edwin Diaz, but again, the game will just eventually, because he's, he's, he's here, I'll call him up. Actually, one thing I want to check, I do want to check if they added Tatis into the game. Is he back in the game? He's not. He's not back in the game yet. I hope at some point when I have to do the Padres that he will be back in the game. We'll see. But nevertheless, that's not important right now. What's important is the Mets I'm trying to rebuild them. So, yeah, let's see if we can try to get a better left fielder. I, I, I'm looking at the team. It's like, I think we can get a better left fielder. Let's see if we can uh, upgrade from uh, Mr. Marcan. I might throw in him and Tommy Pham. See if we can throw in them and a prospect try to get a better left fielder in his lineup. And I think that'll be about it for making moves for now. Man, Verlander and Scherzer are making so much money. It's absolutely crazy. Their contracts are huge. You can't even offer the size contracts in, in the game. That's how huge they are. So, yeah, let's see if there's any uh, lefters we can get out there, though. All right, I'll do this deal here with the Angels. We're going to get Taylor Ward for Tommy Fan, Mark Hanna, and Mateo Gill. Uh, so, yeah, small move there. We uh, we were way over budget, so I couldn't really trade for anybody too crazy. But, yeah, Taylor Ward's going to be under arbitration for a few seasons, so he's not going to be very expensive. And he's usually pretty solid in the sim. So we're going to take him on. I think that's going to be about it. I mean, we'll let Omar Narvaez do his thing out there. I, I feel like he might be capable of performing as a catcher. Nevertheless, I do think this team is pretty good. We should be able to make the postseason. I guess I'm going to find out to simulate. So I'll see you guys once I'm at the All-Star break. Unless there's a move that happens to pop up that I want to make before then. But I think we're pretty good. Pretty set. All right. So we are 57-34 and 34 at the All-Star break. And we are leading our division right now. So that's pretty cool. Let's take a look at the injury list. Got some guys that are hurt. Taylor Ward, finger contusion. I was having a pretty solid season, though. So he'll be back, though. Uh, other than that, Justin Verlander, shoulder tear. That's tough. He was having a really nice season, too. So he'll be gone for an extended period of time. Uh, the rest of the rotation, though. Mr. Mr. Senga, not doing too bad. Max Scherzer has been amazing. Peterson, solid. Tyler McGill has been pretty good. And then Quintana, eh, high on the ERA. Carrasco in the bullpen, eh. Uh, Curtis has been really good. He was an all-star, it looks like. Uh, but everybody else here, not that great. Rayleigh was amazing. He's been amazing. We got Edwin Diaz up here, even though he's out in real life. But here, the game's the game. 20 saves, nice. All right, how's the lineup looking? Let's see, Marte not having a bad year. And this is why you get this. Is how you why you have Luis Guillorme. He doesn't hit for many homers. Doesn't have a lot of power, but he gets on base and he hits 345. So that's helpful. McNeil's doing all right. Lindor's having a solid season. Number Beatty, 
243. That's fine, though. It's, it's okay. Arvada's been kind of struggling a little bit. Escobar's having to play left. So, there's that. But yeah, Taylor Ward will be hopping back on in shortly. So, uh, the team's looking okay. Uh, also, Alvarez is here, too. We'll see if Alvarez eventually breaks into the lineup. But yeah, the team's looking solid. Um, we have... We're, we At some point, we're going to have some money i guess to spend i mean we might have to make some trades um a lot of these guys have like two years left on their deals so we could maybe package some of these guys like david robertson i could actually move now because he's an expiring maybe we just got to try to get some prize books for him because i don't i anticipate myself resigning him same thing carrasco if we throw these two guys in and just try to get some young guys to the team into the organization like i'll be happy with that Let's see if i can get for these two I'll just with the White Sox. We get, we're going to get Garrett and Sean Burke for Carrasco and Robertson. Uh, plus, I do need some bullpen help, so getting Garrett would be pretty solid. So we'll take him on. Um, I guess in terms of other trades we might want to make, I think we're good. Um, I mean, Dylan Bundy, I, if I can move him uh, for something. I, I do kind of want to get Jordan Walker on this team. Uh, they were offering me him. If I can get him, I don't know if I can, but... He's having a really good season. Uh, if I throw him in a deal and maybe try to get somebody else in this deal here. Joey Luchette. Yeah, I don't need Joey. And then we throw in, I don't know, who's our worst player. One of these guys. Oh, TJ McFarland's also making a lot of money too. Uh, it's got to be one of these guys down here that they'll take Jordan Walker for. Let's see. Because it's right there. Um, okay, Scott. Scott Ota. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's get Jordan Walker on this squad. Why not? Thank you, Cardinals. That's about it for moves. Uh, I will see you guys at the end of the season where I expect us to make the postseason. All right, so Mets went 103-59, and won the division, and we're taking on the winner of the wildcard playoff game. So that is pretty cool. We had the best record in – well, we didn't have the best record in the NL – uh, the Dodgers did. Dodgers had 106 wins, but we were one of the better teams, so that's good to see. Uh, yeah, very nice season. Let's take a look at some of their injuries. What do we got? Uh, Danny Mendick is hurt. Okay. Torn left Achilles. Was it left? Oh, just torn Achilles. Okay, I didn't tell you it's left or right. <sighs> Pitching rotation. All right, let's take a look at that first. Kodai. It was all right. And then the season kind of cold. David Peterson, nice year. Justin Verlander back on the team, and he was excellent. Uh, Max Scherzer was awesome. Todd McGill, pretty solid. But you can see they're, like, regressing really fast. That's the one thing about them. But we can let them expire out. You know, why not? Uh, Jose Quintana, good record, but not the best ERA and things of that nature. Curtis and Garrett were solid. And I guess the rest of the bullpen was pretty good, other than Dennis Santana, who was, eh, could have been a little bit better. All right, lineups. Marte had a nice year. Guillaume hit... 316, so you love that. Jeff McNeil was solid. P. Alonso was okay. We extended him. I like that average up near 280, if we can get that there. Taylor Ward was pretty solid. Nimmo had a nice year. Um, okay. Jordan Walker didn't play too much with us, but you know when he did play, he was solid. Uh, Mark Vientos got called up. That's cool. He was, in his limited amount of time, he was pretty good. All right, let's see. So who are we going to be taking on? Either... Philly or Milwaukee? Who would I rather take on? I don't know. Oh, we're taking on Philly. So there you go. Let's see. How good was uh, how good were the Phillies? 90 and 72 this year. All right. So what do we got? We got game one. We got Kodai Sega versus Ranger Suarez on the bump. It's so game one. We're going to lose that one 5-2. to two. Game two, Peterson versus Nola. We win 8-4. to four. Game three, Verlander versus Zach Wheeler. We win 2-1. to one. And can we get the W with Max Scherzer on the bump? We can. So we're in the NLCS. And we're going to be taking on the Dodgers, the best team in the MLB. They've got Julio Arias on the team versus Kodai, and we win that one 12 to 10. A lot of offense there. Game two for Atlanta versus Kershaw. We best them 10 to 3. So we're up 2 0. Can we go up 3 0 here with Peterson on the bump for Tony Gonzalez? No, we can't. Game four, Scherzer versus Bueller. We win 2 0. Great performance there for Max Scherzer. 13 strikeouts. Wow, 13 strikeouts. Woo! Oh, I thought it said 13 strikeouts. Oh, that's how many he has. I'm an idiot. Six strikeouts for him. But nevertheless, he was great, and Diaz got a save. 
Game 5. Let's go to the World Series. Kodai Senga versus Julio Urias. And we are going to the World Series in our first season. Take on either the Guardians or the Rays. So that is awesome. It's going to be the Rays. Okay. And the Rays. Pretty solid team. Got a lot of pitching. The 89 win team. All right. Game 1. Senga versus McClanahan. We're going to win that one 7-6. Nice. Game 2. Justin Verlander versus Drew Rasmussen. We lose 3-1. Game three, Peterson for Tyus Glass now. We win 11 to two. Game four, Scherzer versus McClanahan. We win five to one. Can we win the World Series in our first season? Yes, we can. Wow, the, it's almost like the video could end here, but it is not ending here, ladies and gentlemen. It is not ending here. Um, the Sim was on our side today. Oof, the Sim was on our side in our first season. They clutched it out. The Mets clutched it out. Now, that's completely unrealistic because usually it's the opposite. They choke. Um, but, hey. Not this, not in the sim. Uh, well, now nah, I'm gonna hate haters on it. I, I, listen, listen. We did great. Congrats, guys. Awards. Let's take a look. Pete Alonso, World Series MVP. I'm glad we extended you, buddy. And Starling Marte was a playoff MVP. So great season. But we're we're trying to win more. Steve Cohen. Steve Cohen doesn't want to just win one. Not one. He wants to win more than one. So we gotta help him out with that. Uh, let's take a look at the lineups here in the postseason. How everybody did. Marte was great. Guillermo was great. Teal kind of struggled a little bit. Sort of Taylor Ward, which is a little bit concerning. Lindor was bad. Um, Alvarez wasn't that great either. Uh, Tomas did okay. Escobar was solid. Rivantos was great. Okay. Pitching rotation. It was okay. Verlander was great. Peterson was eh. Max Scherzer was dominant. Um, Tom was terrible. Uh okay. Garrett was terrible. Drew Smith wasn't great. Curtis was awesome. And Edwin Diaz was great too. So, okay. Well, we've got four more seasons. We're going to try to win more than one because we got them in our first season. I didn't think we'd get it, but here we are. Uh, let's go on to the offseason and uh, try to make some moves to help try to go back to back. All right. So, right for you can see now, there's really not much I could do because I just don't have any money. Um, now, I could maybe make some moves. I gotta see who's making a lot that I don't really want. Um, it's kind of tough. I mean, pro I'm probably gonna move Jose Quintana, maybe Escobar as well. Uh, throw those guys in a trade package and see if we can get something for them. I also could move Adam Odovino because he's kind of old. Um, Omar Narvaez, he could be a free agent as well. And maybe we just have Alvarez be our guy. Yeah, I could do something like that. There's also Darren Ruff on the team. Yeah, there's there's some contracts that I think we can move here. So let's see if I can uh, finagle, finagle some money. and Maybe we have enough to go after some decent free agents. Not the too crazy, though. All right, I'm just going to do this salary dump here trade with the Dodgers. I'm going to get Bobby Miller for Jose Quintana, uh, Eduardo Escobar, and Darren Ruff. And maybe Bobby Miller's got A potential, so that's huge to add to our farm system and just maybe... Maybe he'll be able to be up in the majors as well for a little bit. So that's a cool trade there. All right, I'll do this deal with the Padres. We're going to get Robert Suarez and Sean Burnett for Adam Odovino, Omar Narvaez, and Darren Atkinson. Uh, so Suarez helped bolster off the bullpen a little bit. Now, we did save, once again, a little bit of money. So I, I think I have some money to play around with. Nothing too crazy. But, I mean, I think I might want to try to add maybe somebody else to the starting rotation. Nothing too crazy. Um... Like, I could throw a deal at Severino. I might throw him a contract so we can get him on the team. Uh, and then maybe if we get another bat, that'd be kind of cool. So I'll see what's out there in the market. We try to get some of these guys here. We'll throw Severino a deal. So we can try to get him. And then, uh, I mean, CJ possibly, but I don't really need him. I mean, I could go after, like, a, a third baseman. Like, we could try to get Matt Chapman. Um... I could throw, yeah, I could throw a deal. At, I could throw it off for a Matt Chapman. I usually don't get him. Um, usually because he doesn't do that great in the sim. So, uh, yeah, let, let's throw a deal at Matt Chapman. See if we can get him on the team as well. Um, and then after that, I think that's going to be pretty much about it. So if we could get these guys, that'd be great. If not, no worries. Um, and, yeah, I'll see you guys once I have a uh, some offers on the table. All right, so we picked up Matt Chapman. That's a pretty solid pickup for us, I'd say. Nothing too crazy. Uh, we also got Luis Severino. So not too bad. Nothing too nothing too wild. So yeah, it's Chapman and Severino are going to be our additions this season. Uh, we'll have a lot more money, I think, next year since uh, Verlander and Scherzer are going to be off the book. 
they might even retire. Uh, but we'll see. But yeah, I think that's it for uh, moves. So I like the team going forward. Let's uh, try to get everybody back on the squad and we will go from there. Second season, uh, our team's okay. Now, I did pick up uh, Marchand. I think he's going to be in the minors though. Yeah, I picked him up as a backup catcher, but I guess he'll, he's going to be in the minors, so it's not a problem. Looking at the MLB lineup, looks pretty good. Um, again, nothing too crazy uh, that we really did. I mean, obviously Jordan Walker's still up here, so that's nice. Um, Chapman is coming off the bench, which is kind of weird, but okay. Uh, I guess in some lineups he will be not... I guess he'll be starting. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, I guess against lefties he plays. What are his stats against lefties? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Spread stats against lefties. Yeah, okay. All right. Not bad. Uh, pitching rotation. I mean, good eyes are number one. We got Severino Peterson. We got Verlander and Scherzer at the back end. Uh, again, they're on their final years of their deal. Years of their deal. So we'll see what they end up deciding to do. If maybe we could re-sign them for cheap. I wouldn't be too mad about that. Or if they just kind of end up retiring. The bullpen is not bad. I mean, obviously picked up Robert Suarez, so we'll see how he could do. Um, yeah, I mean, listen, our team was pretty good last season. Good enough to win the World Series, so can we do it again? I guess we'll find out. I'll start a break. We're sitting at 46 and 44, which isn't really great. Um, not amazing. I mean, that's okay, though. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, we're 46, 44. Standing-wise, we are a wild card team currently right now. So that's nothing too crazy there. Looking at the lineups, Marte is kind of struggling. Um, I might look to move him because um, he made a lot of money. Uh, Brett Beatty doing his thing out there. That's good to see. McNeil's been really good. Lon's been all right. Lindor's been good this year. Taylor Ward. Okay. Chapman. Not great. Uh, Alvarez has been solid. Jordan Walker's been decent off the bench. Moss has been pretty cool. Guillaume has been cool. Arpientos has been really cool as well, so that's great. Um, how is our pitch rotation looking? Uh, Kodai's ERA is a little too high for my liking. Severino has been eh. Peterson's been eh. Tommy Hill's been struggling. Verlander's been good. Just goes to show you, man, like, it, maybe it's the quirks. I don't know. He's just juiced up, man. Also, Scherzer. Like, these guys are 70 and 74 overall yet. They're better than all these guys. It's it's crazy how sometimes that uh, that works. Uh, Drew Smith kind of struggling a little bit. Garrett's been amazing, though. The middle of the bullpen's been pretty good. Uh, honestly, the bullpen has been really good other than Drew Smith. Uh, everybody else has been really good. Edwin Diaz, 20 saves, not bad. Uh, yeah, let's try to get a, let's try to trade Marte. Uh, I want to get an upgrade at the right field position. I don't know what that's going to look like, but we'll see if we can maybe finagle a deal. All right, I'm going to do this deal with the Brewers. We're going to get Ramon Laureano for uh, Starling Marte, Zach Green, and Christopher Stubbs. Uh, you know, we're going to shed a little budget there. Um, and, you know, Laureano's having a DC. He's been kind of cold as of late, but nevertheless, uh, Marte hasn't been too great. He's making a lot of money. He's going to continue to regress, so we'll move him. And, yeah, we're going to get Laureano. So not too bad of a deal there. Uh, I think that's about it for now. So... Yeah, I'll simulate to, I guess, to the end of the season. Maybe we'll make a wild card. Uh, but we'll hopefully have enough money in the offseason to kind of retool this team a little bit. All right, well, we go from winning the World Series to not making the postseason. Uh, that is something crazy. Uh, but okay, a uh, little bit of a down year this year. Makes sense. Uh, but I think we could free up some money this offseason and hopefully we'll be better. Uh, Brandon Nemo, what's going on, buddy? 285. Not a bad year. It's forced he broke his forearm. Uh, it doesn't really matter because not in the postseason. Yormi had a solid year. Uh, P. Alonso, ah, man, he's not quite doing what I want him to be doing, but he played a lot of games, though. He's been very durable. Uh, but yeah, you know, get that average up a little bit. Brett, Brett was awesome. Uh, Lindor, solid year. Ramon was decent. We'll take that. Um, all right, Jordan Walker ended the season on fire, so that's promising. Chapman, not that great. This is why I don't really get him that often. He doesn't really do too well in the sim. Vientos was good. Uh, okay, 
Uh, let's see our pitching rotation. Kodai, okay, not the greatest ERA. Uh, Peterson, eh. Severino was kind of eh as well. Like, they're kind of just like eh. Tom McGill struggled a little bit. Verlander was still solid, and Max Scherz was still solid, but they're probably going to end up retiring. Um, maybe not. Uh, but they're not going to be worth however much they want me to offer them. I'll probably give them, like, small deals if they want to stay on the team and the organization. Other than that, though, our bullpen was really good for the most part. Drew Smith was decent. Um, okay. So we didn't make the postseason this year. Not a problem. We're going to have some money to play around with the new offseason. Make some big moves. And, uh, yeah, try to improve this team a little bit. So Angels beat the Brewers in the World Series. And, yeah, let's see. We try to get back up on top in the offseason. Get back, get this team back in the postseason. Make some moves uh, with some of our freed up money that we are going to be getting because guys contracts are expired. Scherzer and Justin Verlander I just wanted to show you guys they ended up retiring and they ended up making the Hall of Fame so fair play to them uh they wanted to get out of here not a problem uh but with that that gives us a ton of budget to play around with so just wanted to show you guys um that they made it so congrats to them all right so we got a ton of money to play around with here in free agency and uh yeah, I think there might be some moves you want to make here. Um, I definitely want to go, to have to go after some pitchers. So I'm going to throw some contracts out here. I mean, I'm going to throw Burns, Bieber, Freed. Uh, if I can get all three of them, that'd be great. I don't know if I can, but we'll throw them contracts. If I can get another bat in the lineup, like a Juan Soto, that would be huge as well. Now, I don't know if I could be able to afford all that, but we're going to throw some contracts out here so we can get these boys in to, well... Bring them into Queens, so to speak. So, yeah, we'll see if we can get them into Queens. We'll throw Juan Soto a deal. We'll throw... I could throw Altuve a deal. He's coming off a nice season, but... Um, nah, I'll, throw, I'll throw Burns, Soto, Bieber, and... Uh, Freed. We'll throw them contracts, see if we can get them on the team. And that'll be about it. Uh, those will be our big side. If we have a big free agency here, that'd be awesome. I don't see it happening, but you never know. Maybe we'll get, we'll get all of them. All right, so I couldn't get Bieber. I couldn't get Burns. They didn't want to. They wouldn't want to come here. But I did get Walker Bueller. So that's a big signing right there for us. Added to the rotation. Uh, did we get anybody else? Not yet. Third season is upon us, and we did make some more moves. I did pick up Ty Glass. Now I also got Luke Voigt for like a platoon guy, I believe. So nothing too crazy there. I couldn't get Juan Soto. He wanted to go to the Brewers. So that's fine. Not a problem. And the lineup still looks pretty good on paper. Looks decent. Um, we'll take it. Bench looks cool. Uh, we'll see what we want to do about Chapman. I don't know if I want to keep him on the team or not yet. Um, it kind of just depends. But the pitch rotation is looking better. We've got Buell, Buell, Walker Bueller, Max Fried, Kodai Senga, David Peterson, and of course Luis Severino with Todd Glass now in the bullpen as well. We got him as our long relief for in case one of those guys goes down. So on paper, the team looks good. Bullpen looks great. Lyle looks look good. I'm hoping we get back to the postseason, our third season. Try to get another World Series in this uh, video. Maybe this is the year. I don't know. We'll see. I'll see you guys at the end of the Well, not the end of the year. I'll see you guys at the All-Star break, unless there's a trade that I want to make prior to that, which I might. I might. There, we got some prospects that, uh, that we could maybe look to move to try to get somebody on the squad. All right. I've always wanted to trade for Mookie Betts. I haven't traded for Mookie Betts in this game yet. I'm going to get him. We're going to go with Aaron Jackson. We're going to give it to Moss. We're going to give it Matt Chapman as well. And we're going to get uh, Moogie Betts here. Now, I know that means that Brett, Brett's, Brett's ready to just beat third baseman. We're going to have Giorme be the platoon guy. I don't really need Chapman. Although he's having a pretty solid year this year, um, I think it's just time to get rid of him. We're just going to get Moogie Betts. So, welcome to the squad, Moogie Betts. I didn't make a lot of money, but uh, I expect him to help us out in that offense. Now, I do have Ramon Laureano. I could try to move him as well. Maybe just get some... Uh, like guys for him i mean he's not having that great of a season so far so let's just see if we can maybe get some prospects for him the rangers we get kumar rocker and paulo rodriguez for ramon Laureano. so uh, we'll do that there and that's going to be about it for now i have a few more games left until we get the all-star break so once we get there i'll show you guys the stats we're 16 30 at the all-star break um let's take a look to see we got injury lists so some guys that are hurt right now Brandon Nemo hurt. 297 average. He's doing pretty solid. Unfortunately, fractured his foot. It's tough to see. Uh, how's the pitching rotation looking? The pitching rotation's looking pretty good. 
Walker Buehler's been all right. Not too bad. Freed's been solid. Coda has been good this year. Peterson. Eh. Severino has been nice. Kyle Glass has been awesome. Uh, the bullpen is good. Diaz is struggling, though, this year. Uh, Garrett's doing great things at the closer, so you'll love that. Uh, pitching's looking great so far, for the most part. McNeil's having a great season, hitting 331. Yorman's been on, well, he's been cold as of late, but he's having a good year. Mookie Betts is on fire, hitting 280. Pete Alonso, not a bad year. Brett's doing his thing out there. Francisco Lindor, decent season. Taylor Ward's been solid. Alvarez has been solid. We've got Jordan Walker playing center right now, uh, which is cool. Um, yeah, dude, Mark Viento has been awesome as a, hey, let's play play a little bit and uh, help me out. Like, this guy has been awesome. We also even got Ronnie up here. What's up, Ronnie? But not doing that great so far. Kevin Parada has been solid as a backup. Okay. Team's looking good. Now, I'm not going to make any moves. We already made our moves. You saw our team. We're at 60 and 30 right now. That is, in fact, the best record in the MLB. Only a game and a half better than the Yankees in the AL. So that'd be cool if we get a, the Subway Series Part 2. I don't know if we will, but a man can dream. That'd be good content, I tell you that. So I'll see you guys at the end of the, uh, end of the year where hopefully we're in the postseason again, which I think we should be. All right, well, the Mets went 107 and 55, so a much better season this year. Bounce it back, taking on the win of the wildcard playoff game. We've got some cool stuff there. League leaders awards. Let's take a look at those. Pete Alonzo, a lot of league and RBIs. Love that. So he had a nice season. Would have loved to have Juan Soto on my team. Hmm. Well, couldn't get him. Uh, but Giorme was third in average. McNeil was fourth. And Brett was Brett Beatty was seventh. So these dudes are hitting the cover off the ball. That's great. Awards, what do we got? McNeil and Mookie Betts getting gold gloves. So that's cool. Uh, Alonzo, runner-up third in MVP. So I will take that. It's a pretty good season from him. What do we got? Injuries. Some guys that are hurt right now. Nothing too crazy. How would the our team do, though? McNeil had a great season. Guillermo was great. Mookie Betts ended the season kind of cold, but he was, had a good year. Same with Pete Alonzo. Uh, Brett Beatty, nice year from him. Uh, Nimmo was solid. You know, welcome back after being hurt for a while. Taylor Ward was decent. Lindor will take that, and Alvarez. So nobody hit below 260 in the starting lineup, or at least against Rays. So that's awesome. Uh, Parada's a backup, okay. Jordan Walker, eh, not the best, but, you know, he. we'll see what we decide. If we want, I, I would want to keep him around, but if, I, if he's valuable, we can try to make a move for him and see what we can do there. But how is our pitching looking? Beeler didn't have a nice year. Free was good. So was Peterson. So that was awesome. It's every end of the season cold, but overall though the rotation looks great. Glasno in the bent uh, in the bullpen has been good. Uh, Boster Diaz didn't have the greatest seasons, but Garrett stepped up with 44 saves. He had a wonderful year. So yeah, the bullpen for the most part pretty good. Honestly, this team is good on paper. Definitely really one of the better teams in the MLB. The Yankees had the best record in the AL, but we had the best record in the NL and the best record in the MLB. Does that mean anything? Probably not. So we're going to be taking on the Giants, who got uh, an interesting squad. Let's take a look at their standings, where they finished. The Giants were at 81-81, and 81, exactly 500 team. So we're going to be face facing them. we got Walker Buehler versus Pablo Lopez in game number one, and we're going to lose that one 8-6, okay? That is uh, unfortunate. Curtis was terrible. Game two, Freed versus Shohei Otani. We win 8-1. to one. Dude, Shohei Otani... In the postseason, for every reason, in this game is just so bad. I don't understand it. Peterson versus Webb, game three. We lose five to four. We need to win this game four right here. Code on the bump versus Tyler Maley, and we lose eight to four. Not good whatsoever. So bad series there. We lost to a 500 team in the postseason. That makes sense, right? That makes sense, right? I'm going to be the show. Well, it's an unfortunate way to end the season. Let's take a look here at the lineups. How we do in the postseason? Uh, Nemo had a bad postseason, so did Alvarez. Okay, the bench didn't even play. How was our pitching? I mean, you guys already saw. Kodav was terrible. Walker Buehler was terrible. Freed was really good. Peterson was terrible. Glass was terrible. Curtis was terrible. Uh, Foster was okay. These guys here were good. Garrett was good, and then Diaz was good as well. So, nothing too crazy. Okay. 
So pitching was really kind of what let us down this season. Okay. Well, we've got uh, two more years. Uh, we already got our World Series, but I'd like to get at least one more if we can. So let's simulate the offseason, see who ends up winning the World Series. And the Cubs beat the Angels. Good job, Cubbies. See, I mean, there's nothing too crazy that we would really necessarily need to do. I mean, we could try to get Brian Reynolds. Could get Vladimir Guerrero Jr. If I wanted to add, like, a DH. Just another bat. Um, Because I feel like our pitching is fine. I'm trying to think if there's anybody that we would want to move. Um, I mean, Bobby Miller. If I throw Bobby Miller, Suarez, and, like, Luke Voigt, can I get, like, a stud? Get Zach Wheeler. And Shohei Otani. Easy. But I don't want to show him. Um, Arenado can't get him. Can I get Juan Soto? No. I'm trying to think of what I even want. Brian Hayes? I can get Brian Hayes. He's pretty solid. Paint Beaver. Easily get out. Uh, I can get Altuve. Bryce Harper. We can't get, get Turner. He's really easy to trade for. Danny Alcantara. Oh, we're close to being able to get Acuna. I wouldn't mind Acuna on the team. Ooh, I would not mind Acuna. I, I'm close to getting Acuna, but then again, it's like I already have, uh, I already have, I can't get Julio Rodriguez. I already have Mookie Betts. I mean, Mike Trout would be cool. Just making a lot of money. Jordan Alvarez, Christian Javier, can't get them. Correa, J-Ram. Judge, I'm super close to being able to get. Just making a lot of money as well. I was running on Gary Cole. We can get it. Um, nothing too crazy. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think I'll uh, I'll see what's out there. If I maybe want to consider one of these moves, or maybe mix up some of the players and see if we can get somebody. I picked up Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Uh, haven't signed him in a while. Now I know we have Pete Alonso, but hey, that's why the DH is DH exists. So. One of them can DH. Beautiful signing there. Add him to lineup. That's going to make our lineup even more potent. All right. Fourth season here, and the team looks pretty good. Uh, we did obviously add Greer Jr. I did, uh, you know, re-sign most of our guys. So the lineup looks really good. Elon's going to be the DH. That works for me. Um, you want me to kind of be like a platoon guy? We've got Jordan Walker. Who I could look to see if maybe there is a trade out there that I could make. To improve this team going uh, even more, like if we wanted to make another move. What would that move be? I don't know. Um, I mean, we're not terrible. I didn't stretch the imagination, but I mean, we can always look to see if there's any upgrades. But bullpen and rotation look good. Um, I did pick up uh, Milner, who's coming off a really good season, so he's been pretty solid. We'll see if maybe he can kind of continue that with us. So yeah, the bullpen looks good. The rotation obviously looks good. I'm going to see if there's any moves we can make before starting to simulate. If I can find one, I'll let you guys know. Otherwise, I'll just see you guys at the trade deadline, all-star break. And, you know, regardless of whether or not we make a move. Guys, we're at the all-star break, and we're sitting at 68 and 23. This team's really good. Um, not a surprise. Didn't think that we'd be this good, but we are really good. Take a look at the injury list. We've got some guys that are hurt. Breeds herniated disc. It's tough to see, uh, but he's been really good. Uh, so hopefully get him back soon. But I guess Tyler Glass has been stepping in, so that's not too big a deal. That's why you have insurance pitchers in case one of them goes down. Bueller's been amazing. Peterson's been amazing. Kodai, good record, but the ERA really high. Severin has been awesome, and yeah, Tyler Glass has stepped in and done his job. Uh, Curtis is a relief pitcher. We'll take that. Gonzalez, Brooks Raley, not doing that great this season. Miller's been decent. We'll take that, Garrett, Suarez, and we got Diaz. So the bullpen, not doing too, too bad. 27 saves for Diaz as well. Now the lineup looks pretty good. McNeil's been solid. Uh, Brandon Nimmo's been really good. Vladimir Guerrero Jr.'s got 30 homers. Uh, P. Alonso's been doing great. Mookie Betts. Brett Beatty is hitting 358. That's impressive, man. That is really impressive. You're hitting 356. Hmm. Okay. Alvarez has been 
the worst. Uh, he's been the weak link. But other than that, I mean, the bench, eh, nothing too crazy. Dude, Vientos is a cheat code, man. Vientos is a cheat code. Mark Vientos, man. Shout out to you, my friend. Uh, when you play, you do your thing, so I like it. Um, yeah, I mean, if there's a move out there, I will look to make it. Uh, I think I might try to move Walker. I don't know what that would look like. I Do I want to get bullpen help? Do I want to get another guy, like, in the lineup? We'll see what's out there, but... Uh, so far, though, this team's been amazing. All right, I'll do this deal with the Cubs. We're going to get Trevor Stephon and Benito Urbina for Jordan Walker, Thomas Stinson, and Luke Voigt. Um, small move there to help out a bullpen. We get also a nice younger short, young, well, younger short shot, 24 years old, 79 overall. And we save a little bit of budget, I think. Nothing too crazy. But that's going to be about it. Uh, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. I mean, we're sitting at, like I said, 68 wins. Uh, definitely one of the better teams in the MLB, so let's keep it up. We almost won 120 games in a season. We went 119 and 43. That's outrageous. Taking on the winner of the Wild Card Playoff game. Fourth season. Now, I mean, this would be embarrassing if we don't win, so we need to win. <laughs> That's a lot of pressure on us to win. Not 119 and 43 is absolutely insane. I mean, the Cubs won 105, but they're not even close to us. And nobody else even won 95 games. So we're setting up ourselves for failure uh, if we choke. So let's see. We got David Peterson, Freed, Bueller a bunch of times for a bunch of those categories. And uh, let's see. What do we got here? Taylor Ward doubles, Peter Alonso RBIs, Brett hit 347, Tulanzo led league in hits, Guerrero Jr. with runs. Okay. Brett really let, had a batting title, it looks like. So he was, he's been awesome this video. Uh, traded for the release, Deliver Man of the Year, Trevor Stefan. Uh, we've got Walker Bueller winning Cy Young, Pete Alonso winning MVP, and Brett Baby with the batting title. Wow. And runner up was Mr. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Would you look at that? That's absolutely insane. Um, and look at this, <laughs> the runner-up for Cy Young, David Peterson. So you love to see that. Uh, yeah, great stuff there from our boys and girls and lads and laddies. Everybody's back and healthy. Let's look at the lineups here. McNeil was awesome. Uh, everybody was awesome. Nimmo was awesome. Obviously, Brad McGurk Jr. finished <laughs> runner-ups in the MVP. Pete Alonso was the MVP. Mookie Betts had a great season. Brett was awesome. Taylor Ward also hit 331. Lindor was great, and Alvarez is our weakest link. But, you know, again, he's a catcher, so, I mean, a little less, uh, you know, with what we've got. But, yeah, bench looks good, um, so not too bad there. Let's take a look at the pitching rotation. Bueller, not too bad of a season. Freed was pretty good as well. Same thing with Peterson. I just think Bueller won the Cy Young, so, of course, he's going to be pretty good. Uh, Severino, and then, yeah, Kodai was our weakest link, 4.91 ERA. I don't really like that. Good record, but... Glass off the bench was awesome. The bullpen, Bobby Miller struggled. I might look to move him. Uh, Garrett, not bad. Curtis, Milner didn't do that great. Diaz didn't do that great. Victor Gonzalez and then Trevor Stefan. Okay, uh, we're gonna send the playoffs. I just gotta check something really quick. I'll be right back. Okay, right, so we're back. So we are gonna be taking on either Pittsburgh or Miami. It's gonna be Pittsburgh. So we're taking on the Pirates. And what were their standings? They were. A 90-win team. Okay. So we need to win this here. Got Walker Buehler versus Cal Quantrill on the bump. Game one, we win 4-3. to three. So clutch it out. Buehler was pretty solid. Game two, Freed versus Quinn uh, Priester. We win that one 4-2. to Priester, Priester. Priester. Probably Priester. Uh, game three, Peterson versus Patrick Sandoval. And we swept them. 20 to, we won 20-3. to three. Wow, that's... It's a big game right there. A lot of offense. And I can already see Lindor went 6-for-6 six six at 5 ribbies. Hitting 538 right now. Okay. I'm liking that. Um, all right. We're in the we're in the NLCS. We're going to on the Cubs with 105 wins. So we're, we're still better than them by a lot. But I guess they're our competition here. Game 1, we got Bueller versus Steele. We lose 7-4. Okay. Game two, Freed versus Hayden. We win six to three. Game three, Peterson versus Bieber. We win nine to seven. 
Game four, Beulah versus Cade Horton. We lose seven to six. I'm sure we blew that game. We didn't, actually. Well, I guess we did. I don't know. Either way, Severino versus James Tyone, game five. We win seven to three. Can we win game six and go to the World Series? Free versus Steel. We can't. We got Sen Kodai is on the bump versus Shane Bieber. Do I trust Kodai Senga to get a win in game seven? Do I trust him? You know what? We're trusting Kodai. I, I don't know, man. I I'm nervous. We got to get the W here. And we do. Let's go. I'm glad I trusted him. Uh, or, well, he didn't really get the win, but uh, he pitched well. Eh. Yeah, he pitched all right. Okay. Almost, uh, almost choked it away, though. We wanted to. Believe me. So we're in the World Series taking on the Guardians. Let's take a look at the Guardians, see how good they were. The Guardians won 91 games. Okay. So we're taking them on in the World Series. Bueller versus McKenzie, game one. We win three to one. Good stuff there from Walker Bueller. Game two, Freed versus Glenn McKenna. We're going to lose that one five to six. Okay. Game three, we're on the road. Peterson versus Gavin Williams. We lose 10 to seven. Game four, Walker Bueller versus Chris Paddock. We lose seven to six. So let's see. Loss in extras. And this game, we also lost in extras. So two games that could have easily went our way. So now we're down 3 1 as a 119 win team, and we're probably going to lose. Okay, thank goodness we didn't, we, we didn't lose in five. Please don't lose game six. Freed versus McKenzie. We don't. Game seven, this is huge. Do or die right here. Walker Bueller versus Glenn McKenna, and we win the World Series. Okay, we almost choked. We almost choked the greatest season ever, but we completed it. Seven is it. We wanted to choke it. We really wanted to choke it. Look at that. We really wanted to choke it, but shout out to our offense clutching it out uh, in these games. And we won on a walk-off. Oh my gosh. That is outrageous. Now, it looks like we had some... Uh, did we win on a walk-off? Yeah, we won on a walk-off. I don't know who went, who hit the walk-off, but wow. Okay, let's, let's take a look. This is crazy. Awards, what do we got? World Series MVP, Vladimir Gurr Jr., glad to pick you up. And Playoff MVP, glad to pick you up. We get best with solid. Lindor did their thing out there, so great stuff there from the boys. Injuries, uh, Brett Torres calf. No wonder. No wonder we weren't that good because we didn't have Brett. Uh, let's see. How did the lineups do? Yeah, we didn't have Brett at all. He, was, he tore his calf. I mean, Giorgi was solid. He stepped in and did his thing. You can see, obviously, Guerrero Jr. was great in the postseason. Uh, Taylor Ward struggled this year on the average. But everybody else looked pretty good. So, yeah, the hitting wasn't a problem. Uh, even Vientos, once again, stepping in. This dude is so good, man. What a, what a guy to have on your team. I'm going to have to start getting him now. Now that I know what he's capable of, he's legit. Uh, pitching rotation. Yeah, Bueller didn't have the greatest stats. Freed was solid, though. Severino was solid. Peterson didn't do that great. Kodai stepped in. It was okay. Glass one really struggled. So did Bobby Miller. Uh, Rocker, not bad. Garrett struggled. Yeah, our, bull, our pitching was not great. Curtis. Boster was terrible. Diaz was really good, though, and so was Trevor Stephens. So I'm glad we got you. All right, well, we got one more season. Can we win three of five? I guess we'll find out. For the most part, I kind of just want to re-sign my guys. Um, is there anybody out here that I would really, really want? You know, Alejandro Kirk would be cool, but I already have Alvarez. Tyler Stevenson, obviously, really cool, but again, I have Alvarez. So I, I guess we kind of just want to keep everybody around because we have a good shot to go back to back. If we could win three and five, that'd be great. Um, I might look to make a move, though. I'm going to wait to see if we can try to sign um, any of our guys. Um, that are kind of just out there. We'll see. Uh, but other than that, that would be about it. So, um, yeah, because I do want to make a trade, I think. And I'm kind of just looking. Is there anybody out here that I have currently right now that I can move? I mean, Henley. Giorme's making a lot. And he kind of had a down year. I would flip him, and then... Uh, I don't even know. Suarez, did he even pitch? No, yeah, he pitched, yeah. 
Like, Rayleigh, maybe, because he's kind of getting up there in age. We move those guys for something else. Like, you know, I wouldn't be too mad about that. I mean, even though Giorme is still pretty solid. He actually did good in the postseason. But if I can move them, maybe for just another, like, a more consistent bat, I'd be kind of happy with that. All right, I'm going to trade for Ian Happ. Uh, Henley, Giorme, and Rayleigh. But can I get something else here as well? It looks like I can. Okay, we'll get that. We'll take a Mule Zamora, young guy. Yeah, why not? All right. So I freed up a tat. Well, not really afraid of any money. Yeah, we're gonna try to resign our guys, and that's about it. I'm not gonna make any other moves. Um, and maybe we'll just wait till the start of the season to maybe make another trade with some of our young guys once they kind of just come back onto the team. We're gonna get Jack's Joe for uh, Jonathan Milner and Ronnie Mauricio. Um, I want to shed a little bit of money here and try to get David Peterson back on the team so I couldn't afford his contract. So, I mean, we'll throw him another offer because I feel like that offer just isn't that great that I just gave him. Uh, we're lowballing him, but I mean, hey, that's kind of just what we usually have to do. So, the game's the game. So, we'll keep doing it until we kind of can get him a relatively decent offer that I feel like he might accept. Um, so, yeah, this this could work. Could throw him something like that. Player option. Sure. I, I think he'll resign. And that'll be about it. And then maybe we'll try to make some moves at the start of the season. Uh try to trade some of our top prospects and some of our other guys to maybe improve the team even more. All right, fifth and final season for this team, and it looks pretty good. I might try to make a move, though, before we start the season. Obviously, you guys saw me pick up Ian Happ. I mean, this team's, the lineup looks great. The bench is pretty solid. Uh, the rotation with Buell, Free, Peterson, Severino, and Senga is awesome. Um, if I could package Glasnow, Miller, and somebody else and try to get even another pitcher, I mean, the bullpen looks great as well, but, I mean, if we can make it even better, I'm willing to do so. Now, is there any lineup adjustments we can make? I mean, if I can get, like, a better center, I mean, Nima's been good, though. Not, like, getting bad. He's been great, but, I don't know. Maybe we try to trade for, like, a stud center fielder, like, even better than Nimmo. That's something that's a possibility. Um, so I'll see what's out there. Uh, that, like if I throw those guys in there in a trade finder or something. and That'd be about it. Let's see what's out there. I'm not giving up Brandon Nimmo. I'm going to keep him on the team. We're going to get Michael Harris though. Michael Harris second for Glasno, Miller, and Robert Suarez. And yeah, that's another huge bat there in the lineup. Uh, yeah, welcome to the team, Mr. Brandon Nimmo. Now, I could try to trade the Castro, and I think I might try to make a small move here, try to get some uh, another pitcher. We throw uh, Le Castro, Hernandez, and uh, I'm trying to think who else would be good to throw in there. Maybe this Holcomb guy. If I can get another pitcher, that would be fantastic. All right, I'll just deal with the Rays. It's something small here. We get, we're going to get Pavetta and Burr for Le Castro, Hernandez, and Terrence Holcomb. Uh, just in case one of those guys goes down, or just a pitcher that goes down, I guess one of those step in. Well, that's pretty much it for moves. Uh, again, our lineup now. I mean, Nemo is coming off the bench. What? Absolutely incredible. Uh, yeah, lineup's filthy. Rotation's obviously filthy. Again, I guess Pavetta can kind of step in. I mean, it's a little bit of a downgrade, honestly, in terms of overall, but who knows? Uh, we'll see what ends up happening there. still think the team should be nevertheless really good. So, yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Uh, well, not the end of the season. I'll see you guys at the All-Star break. 16-32 at the All-Star break is what we're currently sitting at. If we take a look at the injury list, we've got some guys that are hurt. Alvarez, fractured leg. You hate to see that. Doesn't have that great of a season. He's all right. He's doing okay. Fractured hand from Max Freed. Tough to see. So we got some injuries this year that we're dealing with. But nevertheless, we're still 60 and 32. Michael Harris has been amazing. He's loving the way he's playing. Uh, McNeil, a little bit chilly this year. Brian McGregor has been awesome. Pete Alonso has been great. Mookie Betts, solid. Brett's doing amazing stuff. Half's been okay. He's been on fires of late, too. All right. Um, Taylor Ward has been cold, but he's hitting 309, so I, I'll take that. Nimmo's hit, hit 312 in his 29 games that he's played. Even got Urbina up here, so that's cool. Uh, how's the pitch rotation looking right now? 
nothing too crazy. Uh, Bueller, solid. Uh, Peterson's been good. Severino, hot as of late. A lot on the RA. But has not having that great of a season. Jackson Joe, though, however, has been really good. And uh, when he pitches, which is ironic because he's the lowest overall by far. Uh, Moore is doing good. As a long relief pitcher, the middle of the bullpen for the most part is good. Um, Burr, who we got, pretty solid. Uh, even though he hasn't pitched the MLB since 2022. Um, yeah. Diaz is doing okay. Uh, Victor Gonzalez struggling. And then uh, Garrett's doing his thing out there. 16 saves. We'll take it. We'll take it. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm keeping the team the way it is. There's really no other moves we want to make. So we'll just uh, kind of just go from there. Unless we want to just trade the entire team for like a terrible player. I mean, we could trade Lindor. He's hitting 252. But he's been good this entire video. So I, I don't need to trade him. Unless I wanted to get Otani. But honestly, I could easily get him. I don't want him, though. To be honest, I don't want Shohei Otani. Um, I want somebody that's better. I can get Shane Bieber. Then I'm left out of short stuff if I do that. Um, Cunha? I'll take Acuna. Yeah, I can't get Acuna. Can't get Spencer Strider. Yeah, no, I'm not trying to make any trades. All right, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. 62 losses, one on division, taking the win of the wildcard playoff game. So a good season, not as good as last year, but still a good year. Uh, nevertheless, with a hundred wins, uh, Giants had a hundred one though, so they were a little bit better than us. But nothing too crazy. The team was still good. Take a look, Lee leaders, Bueller in pitched, and Pete Alonso home runs. Michael Harris second triple sixteen. So I love that. Uh, and he also hit three fifteen. That's pretty cool. Um, other than that. Nothing too, nothing too crazy. Got some awards. Pete Alonso, MVP. Nice. 262. Not bad. 50 homers. That's really good. 131 ribbies. And I'm surprised Juan Soto didn't win it. Um, but okay. Hey, I'll take it. Injury list. We got some guys that were hurt, but not anymore. How's our team looking? Michael Harris had a nice year, obviously. Uh, McNeil was okay. Alonso obviously won the MVP. Brett, man, Brett Beatty's awesome, dude. He's so good. 325. Excellent stuff from Mr. Brett. Uh, Mookie Betts. Uh, pretty good year. Alvarez was solid this year as well. Love to see that. Happened in Lindor ended the season on fire. So, lineup looks good. The guys off the bench look great. Uh, Vientos. Worst season, unfortunately. Not a problem, though. Uh, Prada was good. Obviously, Nimmo was great. And then... Benito was cool. So, how was the rotation? Bueller, uh, Freed, Peterson was good. Severino, good record, but the year a little high. Jack Job's even on the friggin' rotation now. I guess Kodai just kind of dropped off. Um, probably could have moved him for something, but I, I wanted to see how he does in the sim, and yeah, he's not very good. Uh, well, no, he did get that big game win for us. Game 7 win, so I take, I take that back. Um... Uh, Bullpen, not bad other than that. I mean, Gonzalez was eh. Uh, Trevor Stefan didn't have the best season this year. Garrett, though, 32 saves. We'll take that. Eight holds as well. Diaz wasn't too bad. So, let's uh, sim and see what we got. Who are we taking on? It's going to be the Dodgers. Got Aaron Nola on the bump for them game one. Walker Bueller facing his old team. Game one, Bueller versus Nola. We're going to win that one 3-1. Game two, Freed versus Mitch Keller. We're going to win that one 4-2. Game three, Pearson versus Dustin May. And we swept them. So we're going to the NLCS, and we're going to be taking on the Diamondbacks. Wow. Okay. The Diamondbacks. Uh, how good were they? They were a 93-win team. Dodgers were an 86-win team. So we got uh, Jose Urquidy versus Walker Buehler. Game one. We're going to win that one 11-7. Game two, Freed versus Brannick. We're going to win that one 2-1. Game three, Peterson versus Trevor Rogers. We win 4-3. Game four, Bueller versus Waltson, and we swept them as well. We are running through these playoffs right now. How did Bueller do in this game? He threw a complete game, nine innings, nine strikeouts, one walk, seven hits. Okay, we'll take those. So in the World Series, and we're taking on the Blue Jays. Trying to win our third World Series of the video. Can we do it? We got Alec Manoa on the bump against the Blue Jays. That's, that's always a guy I wanted to trade for. Can't really get him, fortunately. One of those guys, just a little too valuable. 
But the Blue Jays had a 94 win season. So, best of the best here. Game one, Bueller versus Manoa. We're going to win that one 5 nothing. What a shutout there from Bueller once again. Pitching another seven hitter. Did he go the distance again? He did. This time only struck at seven, though. Game two, Freed versus Mike Soroka. We win that one six to five. Clutch it out. Game three, Peterson versus Pearson. We win four to three. And game four, this is do or die. Well, not do or die. This is to win the World Series for the third time in the video. Severino versus Alec Manoa. And listen, listen, listen to this. We didn't lose a single game in that postseason. Not a single game. Ladies and gentlemen, we won five out of five seasons, three World Series. Missed the postseason after making the World Series. Then we uh, kind of choked in the uh, NLDS, but then we won two straight World Series. Wow. Incredible stuff there. Excellent, excellent uh, team there. And I'd say this is a successful rebuild for sure. Um, yeah, Mookie Betts, World Series MVP. That's why we got, try to get you. And Jeff McNeil, playoff MVP, so... He did his thing out there. Uh, Guerrero Jr. was a good pickup. So was Michael Harris. Nice trade. Uh, injury list. Nobody on there. Freed keeps getting hurt, though, for some reason. How's the pitch rotation? Severino was solid. Arthur Bueller was great. Freed, obviously, Peterson. So, love the way they pitched. Our rotation was great. Uh, Rocker, not that great. Oh, Kokoda, Sango, not too bad in the bullpen. Uh, Zamora wasn't good. Foster was solid. Burr was solid. Travis Stefan would like to see that. Diaz didn't do that great. And Garrett was lights out. Uh, how was our lineup? Harris McNeil was really good. Guerrero Jr. Alonzo, not that great. But everybody else, oh, Ian Happ was terrible. Lindor wasn't that good either. On the bench, Vientos, there we go. Seven at-bats and did his thing out there. Two homers. Everybody else didn't play. Nima didn't play. Nima didn't play. That stinks. But that's okay. Listen. Three World Series for you boys in the orange and blue. Orange and blue skies. Orange and blue skies, as Stephen A says. Orange and blue skies. But it's for the Mets. So, got, uh, this is, this was also our best postseason I've ever had. Not a single loss. So, good stuff there from the boys, the men. Let's go to the full screen and close of the video. Hope you the video if you did. Make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Comment down most of the videos. Go to socials, playlist, second channel, main channel, down in the description. Under the other content from TJP. So yeah, we got our next AL team. First AL team of the postseason. Uh, I, th I don't really recall what it is um, or what team it's going to be. But that doesn't really matter because you will see it when the video comes out. So with that being said, I'm going to head on out. Hope you enjoyed the video. This was definitely a success. Three World Series for the Mets. Fair play to them. Uh, and I guess with that being said, take care, everybody. See you soon. Peace.